Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about the first piece of setting up your Discord RPG. So I've had a few requests for this, and we're going to dive into it today. I'm going to share my screen so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing in Discord, but the point of this video is essentially if you're an admin and you're thinking of setting up your next roleplay group on Discord, I'm going to show you guys how to use roles on Discord to make that really effective. There's a few other things that we can talk about with Discord roleplay groups, such as what bots to use or what kind of channels I recommend to have. So if this is helpful for you, let me know down below because I can make more videos on some other things that I do when I'm setting up my Discord roleplay groups. So I'm going to be showing this to you on the desktop browser version of Discord. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I think it's just a little bit easier when you're first setting up all of the things that you need to set up. But once that setup is done, you can basically manage the roleplay from your phone. So that's a huge benefit to Discord roleplay groups. So the first thing you need to do in here is create the server. If you scroll down to the bottom of your server list, there's a little circular icon right here. So we're going to give that a click. And then we're going to click create a server. We're going to give the server a name and then we're going to click create. So I'm just going to make a test server for now so you guys can see. And this is the start of what we have on our server. So the first thing that I do on a new server is delete the voice channels because I don't have time to moderate voice channels, so I don't keep them. So we're going to delete that. And delete the channel. OK, cool. Another thing to note is that the text channel that's here by default this is where the default welcome messages will go that Discord has. So make sure you don't make your first channel something that you aren't okay with getting some spam in. I make it my general chat personally, but you can make it whatever. I just wouldn't recommend making it something where you put important information. So the very first thing we need to do on our server is fix our roles. So that's where we see the server name at the top right here. We would click on that and then click server settings and then click on roles. Now I'm actually going to do this on my role play group that I already have so that you guys can see what it looks like when it's fully fleshed out. So here's all of my roles. Now the first thing we need to do with the roles is when you go in here, you're not going to have all of these. I made these, but you are going to have this everyone role down here. So we've got a couple of things we need to do on the everyone role. It's got a bunch of these things turned on by default. So the things that I turn off in particular are change nickname. And the reason that I do this is because I want the nickname to be the person's out of character name. I don't want them to set it to their character name. So I don't allow them to change that. I have mods change people's nicknames. The other one that you'll want to turn off, and I just scrolled down a little to get to this, is this mention everyone. Everyone shouldn't have the ability to mention everyone. Now this isn't a huge thing in my role plays because mine are about 20 to 30 people. So it just doesn't happen a lot. But for larger role plays, you definitely don't want this to be a thing. You'll also want to make sure you just look through this and read through this and kind of make a decision on what you want for your particular server. There's a lot of stuff in here and depending on the size of your role play will depend on what things should be turned on and off for everyone for you. Now, the reason why we set this first is because once you set what is in everyone, if we go back up here, we'll see this plus here to create a new role. Every time we create a new role, by default, it's going to have what we set for everyone. So now that we have the everyone role set how we want it, we can make the other roles. You'll need at minimum four sort of groups of people. The admin, that's you, the rest of your mod team, then your players, and then the people that have joined the server but haven't joined the role play yet. The admin role here will have the administrator permission turned on and have rights to everything. Now, no matter how much you love and trust your mods, do not give them admin rights. There's just too many accidents that can happen, so save that just for you. So next, let's look at the role for the mods. For this one, I turn everything on except this administrator permission. So they can essentially do everything. The mods are the people that I trust that help with things while I'm asleep. So they need to be able to do everything that's necessary. And essentially that's all of this stuff except for administrator. Oh, and then manage server also. I have that turned off for the mods. 
Next, we have this member role here and then also the noob role. Now, I don't actually change any of the settings for these. These are just kept the same as what everyone has. You'll see why in just a bit. Next, we have the 18 plus role. This is to mark people who are over 18. And this is how you get to see the not safe for work content in the role play. I'll show you how in a bit, but keep this in mind. If you allow lewd content in your role play, you'll need an 18 plus role to make sure that only people over 18 can see it. Then we have some sort of fun roles. Some of these I manage, some are managed by bots. Um, speaking of bots, if this is helpful to you guys, if you'd like a video that talks about what bots I think are useful for a Discord role play, let me know and I'll definitely make a video about that. So for these kind of fun roles that don't really mean anything, I have pronouns, I have time zones, colors, and you can kind of make these whatever you want custom to your role play, whatever you find useful for you. The roles that I feel are necessary, however, are these ones right here. So these are people's character names. So remember how I said I don't let people change their nicknames? That's because their nickname in Discord is their out of character name. And then we list the characters in the roles. Now, the reason why I do that is because the nicknames in Discord have a character limit. So you can't just put the character name in there if you allow people to play more than one character. You're going to run out of space. So character names go in the roles. So that's the roles. Now what's cool about setting up all these roles is now I can control what channels people see. If we go under one of the role play categories, for example, so let's just expand one. So what you see here is a bunch of little lock icons. The reason for this is people in the new role can't see the role play. They have to introduce themselves and apply first. And then we give them the members role so that they can see everything. So how did I do it? I do it by category. So we're going to click that little arrow again and click create category. So we give that category a name, whatever name you need to have for it. And then we click private category. And then I scroll down all the way to the bottom and I do admin, mod, helper, veteran, member. So I'm not going to mark noob. So essentially what these mean is you need to have one of these roles to be able to see the category. So that means any random person that comes into the server can't see the actual role play until they've been approved. And if you're following along, you probably also guessed that if we make a category for not safe for work content, then what we need to do under here is mark that 18 plus role. So instead of these, we would mark this role right here. And what that means is that the person has to have that 18 plus role to be able to see that not safe for work category. So these are the things that you can do with roles and how you can use them to organize your Discord role play. Discord also has things organized into channels and you can install bots as well to automate some things on your server. This is really useful for larger servers. So let me know down below if you'd be interested in me going into some more detail on these topics and what other things you might be curious about when it comes to Discord role play. I've been running Discord role plays for a while now, so whatever you guys want to know, I can make a video on. And as always, of course, remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe to my channel for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.